we had a lot of questions come through about young horses. Um, mm -hmm. So obviously you're both training a lot of the young horses at the moment. So kind of think like, yeah. What are your training programs that you've got in place? Um, do you have it for an individual or have you got like a kind of group program that you start everything on? And Monica had a really good question. Um, how do you promote balance and engagement, particularly in young horses? Say that one again. How do you promote balance? Balance and engagement, particularly in young horses. <laughs> oh, that's a good question. It was a good one, wasn't it? <laughs> Yeah, I th I'll I'll take, I'll take the first <laughs> yeah. part. I'll take the first part. You can answer that. Yeah. Um. So, um, as far as routine and everything for young horses, um, I think we sort of it depends a little bit on the horse. So when they're first babies, we sort of look at them before they're broken in and decide: are they big? Are they small? Do they need more growing? Are their joints closed? Like we kind of choose a good moment to start them. Um, most of ours, we tend to aim for young horse classes only because it's quite a nice experience for them, especially as four year olds to first, um, get going. Um, so we tend to usually bring them in, what would you say? Maybe August, September, um, and in the, in the year that they turn four. So we tend to get them going around then give them plenty of time to get into the routine of training give them plenty of time to build strength because most young horses, let's be real, they tend not to be able to even canter in a straight line, trot in a straight line if you're lucky. Um, <laughs> so we give them plenty of time to get used to that and get used to a routine as well. Dave and I are actually discussing this earlier because Bethany sort of told us a couple of people have asked about young horse classes. Um, and we were saying that it's really important to develop um, a good routine for them because when you first take them out, they really need to, that's their first experience of being confident. Like they have to learn how the competition world works and it's not a big deal. It's not stressful. It's not a worrying sort of atmosphere. Um, so we tend to lunge them a little bit when they're babies, um, obviously for our safety and also to get the horses to have a bit of a, um, a way of going. We lunge them in side reins, um, usually elastic ones, so then they don't have any bad experiences. Um, and we do like to try and get our babies to the point that they can do walk, trot, canter, and a little bit of lateral stuff. So a little bit of leg yield, perhaps a little bit of counter shoulder in or shoulder in. Um, more for when we go out, we have ways of controlling um, uh, bad experiences, bad, bad reactions. If, if they're all horses, their, their instinct is to run away. We can't physically hold on to them. So thing, little lateral movements and things are really, really good to just have a basic understanding of that, that when they have a bad fright or they get a scare, then you can, you can train that in. So, um, and you can put that in. So that's probably, um, we usually give them a little bit of spell over Christmas. That's the other thing. So we'll bring them in. They might do their first qualifiers when at the end of the year, so November, December, on a normal year. This year might not be so easy. Um, and then they usually have a couple of weeks off over Christmas and we let them have a bit of growing time, depending on the horse. Um, some of the big babies might get a little longer because they need to have more time to just develop. And then we bring them back in. Hopefully they've qualified for some events and we might do one or two more shows um, just smaller events, we were saying that's the other thing is we tend to take them to another property before we take them out for the first time. Um, so we might take them to, my mum's got a property around the corner, so we might take them there or to a clinic or a protocol day for the first time and then um, we compete them after that. So everything is developed fairly slowly um we don't really want them to have a basically the number one thing is that they don't have a bad experience they're always confident if they need to be led to an arena because they're worried that needs to happen um i think bethany said one of the comments was how do we keep them quiet and calm um we try and keep the routine the same when they're at a competition for the first time they'll get a lunge someone might lead them to the arena um if we have to, we will give them a better calm or something similar. Um, something that will just take the edge off them if they need that's, to be lunged at home. That's, that's not a drug, by the way. No. <laughs> 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 um, 
No, we just like to make sure everything One is... One of those calming tastes. <laughs> um, um, yeah, it's not sedation. Um, <laughs> Doesn't come in a needle and syringe. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we just want them all to have a really positive experience for the first time. So basically everything we do in training at home or leading up to that is to do with a positive experience. And as far as the engagement and impulsion in a young horse, that's all up to you. I can, I, I am, I can tell you. So, you know, uh, we have we have a four-year-old that just went and uh, Robbie took to Willinga Park. Um and did a few things on and when that one turned up it was you know it had really massive paces no strength um no engagement like the word engagement was left at the front gate um Big game there was baby. nothing going on so what we actually do with a lot of them is take them out um take them hacking out uh we ride them we're lucky enough here that we have hills and we ride a vineyard and we have a lot of space uh, to ride them out. And especially with a horse that struggles um, in canter, which most young horses do, then you can canter them out uh, and keep cantering in a, in a long uh, space or, you know, a big space rather than the 20 meter arena or 60 meter arena where, you know, they take three strides down the long side and you're already at the other end. Um, so I think, uh, if your young horse is safe enough, then uh, take it out of the arena and, and ride it out if you have space. Um, if you don't have space like that, then loads of transitions, you know, basic transitions, like walk, trot, um, trot, canter. Okay, the trot, canter, canter, trot is a bit hard when they're young, but um, lots of trot, walk, walk, trot. Within the pace yeah, as well. Yeah, transitions with well, it's a bit hard when you're trotting, trying to hold on for dear life. Yeah. But um, <laughs> it's, yeah, it's trying to make transitions, I think really helps them develop strength and um, engagement. But, you know, don't, with your young horse, don't get too focused on thinking, oh, is it engaged or oh, is it this? You know, I think it's really more important that you can get them to go forward and evenly into the contact that, you know, already that you're not gripping with your legs and helping them all. They're thinking forward on their own. Um, I think they are more important things than being, are they engaged? Because, you know, engagement comes as you start to make more transitions and more more everything. And that, that you'll just find that that, that happens uh, along the way. So, yeah. So I just, that, that's the design of the dressage um, test is basically to throughout the levels and throughout the exercises you do is to develop the strength and engagement and balance and slowly that will get better. So um, as Dave said, it's more important to get them confident as younger horses and confident in the arena and happy, like wanting to work. That's probably the number one thing is that they actually want to do the job, not sour and the push, push, push. You know, you don't want them to go away from the arena thinking that that was the most horrible experience of their life. They've actually got to want to do it and then slowly balance and engagement and all that other stuff will develop as you go through the levels. So 